Hello, coders. This is Mr. Jengis with Code Speak Labs. And today I'm here for the part two of our Ninja Mutant Turtle going like this. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. And let me show you what that looked like. So last time in the in this project, we made a mutant ninja turtle. And he's moving his arms like this. And we're using about seven frames. You can use as many as you want to make this animation, I used about seven. Nice. Next, what I'm going to show you is how to put this project into Scratch so that we can make something like this. Let me make the screen big, big, big. I click on the green flag, nothing happens. Nothing happens yet. I click on the space key. Bam. Okay, you get the idea. We get some really cool sound in the background and our Ninja Turtle is dancing while the background is changing color. So to do this, let me go back to Pisco. To do this, we need to export our Pisco to our computer. That means we need to download it into uh, our computer first and then we can upload it into Scratch. All right, so I have my animation right here. I'm gonna click on Export. So on the right hand side, once you finish your animation on Pisco app, click on this little mountain with the sun in the background. It's, that's the export button. And then click on download. This is going to download it as a GIF into your computer so we can upload it into Scratch. Then let's go to scratch.mit.edu. Mm. Mm. And once you're there, you can sign in if you want to, if you have an account. If you don't have an account, that's totally fine. You can just click on Create. Awesome. Uh, now, on the bottom right corner, you guys might remember this button right here to make a new sprite. This time, you're going to move over to that button. Don't click on it. Don't click on it yet. We're going to click actually on this up arrow right here. It says Upload Sprite. Once you do that, you'll be able to find your downloads folder or wherever it, it, your animation got saved. So I'm going to find my animation and then click on open. And bam, there it is. Do you guys see it? It's tiny. And again, friends, at the size portion right here, you can change it to a different size. I'm going to make mine 500. And we don't need the cat in this project. So I'm going to click on the little trash can and say, bye bye cat. Cool. Let's program this. First, when I press the space key, I want this to change costumes. Friends, costumes is a, is a concept in Scratch. If you, if you look at the costumes tab at the top left, you'll find that this sprite has Costumes. So that kind of means like frames in Pisco app. What we're going to do in the program is we're going to program the turtle to change costumes forever. So there's a block here called Next Costume Inside Looks. When I press the space key, you'll see the Ninja Turtle moving like this. Cool. But it's a bit too fast. How can we slow it down? You're asking. Probably. I go to control, and inside control is a block called wait one second. So that's loaded down, right? There's a one second wait between each frame. You might be saying now, this is too slow now. Well, we can find uh, a good middle ground. So what's a number that we can think of between zero and one? What's the number between zero and one. Friends, this gets into kind of decimals, but you can achieve that number by saying 0 0.5. And that's going to be half a second. If you want it faster, uh, you can say 0 0.1. And it's going to be a little bit faster. You can go even smaller with this number. You can say 0 0.01, and it'll be uh, even faster. Still. Not as fast as without the wait one second, wait seconds long. I'm gonna use 0 0.05 for my animation. You can choose whatever you want. 
All right, friends, so I have a dancing turtle. Let's make a backdrop. Click on the new backdrop button at the bottom right corner. And let's choose like a party background. I'm not sure if we have a party background here. There's another one that I really like. It's called Spotlight. So that I can put my Ninja Turtle right here at the spotlight while it's dancing, right? Okay, let's do another space key press. Let me kind of zoom out here so you all can see. In this one, I'm gonna run something forever. When space key is pressed, something will happen forever. I'm gonna go to motion and use this block right here. Turn, where is it? Oh, here, there it is. Turn. You can choose turn right or turn left, whichever one you like. Just make sure that you say turn 180 degrees. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, let me make it big. Yeah, it's going upside down, it's going left side up, it's going crazy. How can I slow this down? How can I slow this down? Again, I go to control and find, wait one second and put it right here. So I have a Ninja Turtle now, yeah, it's still kind of weird. It's going upside down and then right side up upside down and then right side up. Mm, not great. Let's fix that. Now go to motion, friends. There's a block in motion that is very useful that not a lot of people know about. It's called set rotation style left, right. This makes it so that when the turtle turns, it's going to go either facing left or right. So put that inside the forever anywhere alongside with the turn 180 degrees and wait one second. So now it kind of looks like, yeah, now it kind of looks like it's the right hand and then the left hand and then the right hand and the left hand. Cool, it's dancing. Our turtle is dancing, which is awesome, but we don't have any music. Let's add some sounds to our code. So remember guys, do you remember the costume tab at the top left corner? Now click on the sounds tab. In Scratch, just like there are other sprites and backgrounds, there are many, many, many different kinds of sounds. Once you click on the sounds tab, click on the little megaphone at the bottom left corner. Choose a sound. We have all kinds of sounds in here. You can hover over the play button to hear it. Uh, but let's go to the category loops. So there's a category called loops. And these are more like these are more like musics in, in Scratch. And you can check out all of them. I'm gonna use the video game loop. Once I see that in here, that means I have it in my program. Now let's use it. Go to code, everyone, and let's add another when space key is pressed. So when space key is pressed forever. And then go to sound category, the sound blocks right here, and choose play sound until done. So friends, it's really important that you choose play sound until done, because otherwise your program is gonna glitch. Um, so with this code, when I press the space key, you hear this sound. But if you use the other block, you get a really glitchy sound. I'm gonna lower my volume for this one. So it's just start sound forever. And I'll lower my volume because it's gonna get loud in here. And when I press space key, you hear this like really glitchy sound. What's happening is it's starting the sound before it can finish. And it sounds very glitchy. So make sure friends that you use this one. Play sound until done. All right, for those of you who want to take a look, here is all the code that we have so far. We have three uh, pieces of code here. They all start with when space key is pressed. But you might be asking, hey, how can I change the background color? Well, that's pretty easy too. All right, friends, we programmed our Ninja Turtle so far. Now let's program our backdrop. 
you're going to click on the stage on the right bottom right corner click on the stage and let's add some program to our stage when space key is pressed you know it forever inside the forever let's put a change color effect by 25. that's it press the space key stop button to stop everything Every, friends if you're signed into scratch you can share your project with the scratch community so you click on the orange share button at the top you can title your project i'm going to call it dancing mm, turtle and don't forget to give instructions to your users this is really important press space key to uh dance all right so once you share your projects on Scratch Friends, that means that other people on Scratch can check out your project, they can hearth it, they can favorite it, they can view it, and they can also give you comments at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, friends, you'll pro you'll find the project link, the, the link to this project in the description to this video below. So if you wanna check it out, you can click on that link and see the project for yourself. You can also remix it if you want, and that is totally fine too. You can remix it and change whatever you want about my program. All right, friends, I'm Mr. Jengis. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, click on like. Uh, if you wanna see our future videos, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Keep coding, friends. Bye-bye.